<laughs> Yo, what is going on everybody? I'm Stacey and thank you for checking out today's video. Today we have in front of us the complete Eevee Evolving Skies Tins. Yes, I think that's what it's called. If not, that's what we're calling it today. We have the Flareon. Nope, we have the Jolteon. Flareon and Vaporeon Tins. We've opened up the Flareon one before. I've had the Vaporeon one sitting on my shelf. I can't remember, but I finally found the last one I was missing. So today we are opening up all three of them. Inside of these, there are some packs of Pokemon cards. I cannot tell you what's inside because I just don't, I just don't know. I don't remember, but we're going to find out. I don't have anything else to say and I want to open up Pokemon cards. So with that being said, welcome to Collecting Cardboard. <laughs> All right, there they are sitting in front of us. Uh, again, I have opened up the Flareon before, but I have not done either of the other two. And as I'm looking at these, I guess I hadn't paid attention to this before, but Flareon looks really cool. This tin's pretty rad. I enjoy that. Jolteon, it, you know, it's okay. It's The Jolteon here is cool. This card is meh. But this, bro, <laughs> what happened? Either Vaporeon is trying to hide, or Pokemon's trying to hide Vaporeon's face. Either way, that is sad, and I think we're going to start with Vaporeon first. Let's go ahead and take these out, release the Vaporeon, get her out in the wild. Can you breathe? Can you finally breathe? Okay, fantastic. Let's look at this card real quick. Splash Jump. Switch this Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. That's not bad. Triple draw, draw three cards. That's not bad at all. I don't mind that at all. Let's go ahead and get the Jolteon promo card out, too. Let's look at that bad boy. Pin Missile. Oh, that is, that's an iconic Jolteon move. Flip four coins. This attack does 60 damage for each heads. Man, this font right here is funky. Did yours look like that? I don't know why that looks so weird. Either way, let's move on. Oh, crap! Things happening everywhere. All right, Flareon, what do you got for us? See, that, that font looks way better. Scorching Column. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. Okay, that makes more sense. I dig that quite a bit. Uh, as far as I know, that's the only way to get those cards. I don't think there's any other way to get a Flareon Jolteon V or something like that. I don't, I don't remember. I just heard somebody say something like that before, and I'm repeating it because, I don't know. I feel like that's my job. Alright, as I'm setting this up, I'm actually very curious to know. Out of these three evolutions, which one's your favorite? I know a lot of people... I know a lot of people are really into Vaporeon. And she's gorgeous. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's quite the tank, too, if I recall. She's got a lot of HP. She's got a lot of defense stats. Um, I don't know. But my favorite is Jolteon. I, I like electric Pokemon, and I like... And then, like, Sharp Edges, Jolteon is all of those things. So, shut up, quit rambling, let's get into Pokemon cards. So we have Evolving Skies, Chilling Rains, Battle Styles, and Sword and Shield. That is quite the coverage. We have pretty much a taste of everything. Let's go ahead and get these separated out. And, of course, me being me, I want to go in the order that they came out. So we're going to start with Sword and Shield. We've opened this set, I can't even think how many times... I honestly don't know how many cards I'm missing from this set. It can't be a whole heck of a lot at this point. Uh, yes, this way. Throw this down, I think. One, two, three, four. All right, the goal of the video. I like to have these goals sometimes. The goal of the video is to have one really awesome card. That's it, just one really awesome card. I'm talking um, secret rare or hyper rare. And uh, I'll, I'll be satisfied. Starting off with fighting energy. Big charm. We're going to kind of go through these pretty fast. We've got a lot of packs to open, and uh, we've seen these sets quite a bit. We might slow down in Evolving Skies, though. Rod and Bike, Metal Saucer, Blip Bug. Sorry we never got to see you in the playthrough. Ponita the Reverse is after Slammed It. Santa Conda, which is a hit. Not a cool hit, but it's a hit. And the uh, Rare is a Knocked Owl. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that does not look familiar. Does that mean anything? No, not at all. I'm gonna go ahead and put that off to the side. Nah. We'll just keep go we'll go with it. Wait, wait! We gotta put the hit off to the side, though. Put that right there, I guess. 
But yeah, I think Sword and Shield, unless it comes inside of like a tin or something, I don't think I'm going to be buying any more Sword and Shield product. At this point, if there's a card that I'm missing that I want, I'm probably just going to buy it. Because that seems like the cheaper route, and I've just opened so much Sword and Shield over the last year. We'll be in the reverses after Clavapus. It's a Chin Chow. Not a rare. The rare of the pack is a Holographic Professor's Research. Got a whole bunch of those. Whole bunch of them. It is a Holographic, though, so that's cool. I don't know. It's one of those cards that's not the coolest, but it does have its purpose. If you play the game, Professor's Research is actually a really good card to have in your deck. Ferrothorn Switch. That's another good one. Crushing Hammer. Black Tea, the best tea. A good Pikachu. We love a good Pikachu. Look at his tail. His tail just looks a little more jagged than normal. I don't know. I could be crazy. That's probably what it is. Hoot hoot. Scruppy. The reverse is a potion. Very underwhelming. And the rare is a Roserade. All of that, my friends, was super underwhelming. Now, we're actually to the first set that I'm excited for today. Sword and Shield is okay. It's absolutely okay. But again, we've opened up so much of it. I mean, there's cards that I definitely want from this set, but there are... Oh, that's a bummer. I saw the, the code card. Um, I don't know where I was going with that. But this set right here, Battle Styles, has the potential to pull that secret rare Empoleon that I've wanted for so long. Hello, Penny. And at this point, we've opened up so many packs of this as well. The rare is... Stonejourner. We've opened up so much, so many packs of this, and I've been so underwhelmed, I think is the best word to use, for battle styles. I can't remember, so I'm not going to look at it. But, that could all turn around the second, focus there, buddy, the second that we pull a, just a good card, in general, actually, would be fantastic, but, man, I'm going to celebrate the day we get that Empoleon. Because that just, that card's going to go on the shelf and never ever leave. The rare is a Tapu Koko VMAX. I'm fairly certain this is my third one. Would you like this? You can have it. Well, maybe not have it, but we can trade for it. You want to trade for it? Let's trade for it. I think I have this one anyways. Maybe I have a Tapu Koko V. I don't know. Either way, it is a good hit. I just wish I liked the Tapus a little bit more. I really don't. I will say I did not watch the anime, which used to be how I got all my uh, my information from, but oh, I don't know. And then I also, I played the game Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, but I just didn't enjoy them, like, at all. I know, I know some of you are hating on me right now, and I can understand it. I can understand it. I just didn't, I don't know. I played both of them twice. And I cannot remember at all any of the details, other than Savali. And I don't even remember that, to be honest. The rare of the pack is a Fall Links. I love Fall Links, but this card is not it. So that was extremely underwhelming. Now we have Chilling Rains. Chilling Rains has been pretty nice to us, actually. Actually, it's been very, very nice to us. So much so that I don't really know uh, what to... Gosh dang it, I spoiled it again. I really don't know what I want to pull from here. I don't really have a, a hit card anymore. Um, let's go right here, I guess. Impact, Path to the Peak, NK, Rock Rough, Castly, Lettyba, Porygon the Reverse. Yo, Shaman. Sh it's a Shaman. I actually like Shaman quite a bit. I don't know. I really don't know why either. I mean, the Sky Form, which is this form right here, is pretty cool. Why do I like it so much? It's probably just because of the movie. The movie was so much fun. And the rare of the pack is... Stupid Glade. I don't know if I have that Shaman. It's been... First of all... Oh, let me put it this way. I usually record both of my card videos uh, in one day. So as soon as I'm done with this one, I'm going to record another one. And then I don't have to do anything with it for a whole week. So by the time I go to open up more Pokemon cards, I've already forgotten what I've opened. And, um, man, I had a point to this. What was I saying? <laughs> the last couple videos have all been celebrations, so it feels like it's been a long time since I've opened anything that wasn't celebrations. Porygon, 
Grookey. The reverse is a Cobalion? That's kind of cool. I don't know if I have that card either. That's really rad. And it's a rare, so it's a hit. The, rare the, the actual rare of the pack is a Metagross V. I don't have this one for sure. I, I actually didn't like Metagross at first, but I really like him now. I actually really like him now. I can't tell you why. No, I really can't. There's just, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. But regardless, I have a Metagross V now, and he's he's going to be a crucial part to this family. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. Last pack of Chilling Rains, and then we will get to the... The Peace de la Resistance. I have a lot of accents that I do. And for some reason, that French one comes out more than any of the other ones. And... I don't know. It's not even a good one. It's not even a good French accent. I probably shouldn't do any of them anyways. I just look silly. And not in a fun silly. Reverse is a rare. Tauros. I have, I have this weird power of pulling reverse rares. I'm pretty sure we've got like 40 of these though. And the rare of the pack is... Hey, a Tapu Finny that does not look familiar. I think of all the Tapus, I like this one the least. <laughs> I don't like seafood. I don't like clams, and I'm pretty sure that this is a clam. So, welcome to the family. If I don't have you, uh, you will be a vital part of the collection. If I've already got you, then... We've got three packs of Evolving Skies, and they're all Umbreons. Is that a sign that we're going to pull the Umbreon today? That would be cool. That would be really cool if it worked like that. I don't think that it does. Does it go this way? It sure does. Fantastic. One, two, three, four... So our best card so far is the Tapu Koko VMAX, and uh, I that's not really what I was talking about when I said I wanted a good card. So let's see if we can do better. Water Energy, Aroma Lady, Rescue Carrier, Scrafty with a Red Mohawk, Nicket, Dwebble, Rufflet, Roggenrola, Boba Fett, I think the reverse, some Milotic, which is a rare. Again, I've got the secret power of like pulling reverse rares. The rare of the pack is... A seismitoad. A very ugly, aggressive seismitoad. Oh, it's times like this where... I'm not going to say I get nervous. I'm going to say this is where I start to get, like... Ugh. Worried, concerned, squatting hit gnome. Where I just feel like the best bird Pokemon. What up, buddy? I just feel like... I don't know. I just need something. I need to pick me up. I was talking about the French accent. It's only right. Gossip. That's really good. I'll be honest. That one is really good. The reverse is a Stoutland. A reverse rare because I've got that power. And the rare of the pack is... God. Can we please get a good, a good card? Please. Pretty please. Last pack. You know what that means. It's been a rough day of it today. In my opinion. Of course... We did get one V card and one V Max card. The V Max card is not something that I, I really enjoy. Anyway, if you do want to wish me luck regardless, the best way to do that is to leave a like for luck. You knew I was going to say that. You guys are too smart. Anyways, somehow, most of the time, sometimes, yeah, just sometimes, when you leave a like on the video, that actually gives me a little bit of extra luck. Usually when I need it the most, you guys come through. So I'm hoping today is one of those days. I think it's time to get into it. Oh, God. I lied. It is nerves. I'm definitely nervous. It's not like anything's going to change. It's not like if I get a bad card, like my day's ruined. And it's not like if I get a good card, my day is amazing. Actually, no, that's exactly what it's like. Oh, gosh. I am nervous. Fire energy. Avalug. Ribbon Badge, Dwilus, Webble, Rufflet, Rog and Rolla, Wobbuffet, Hoppet, The Reverse is an Avalog, not a rare. Here we go, guys. Oh, is it good? I can't tell. Tell me, guys. Is it good? You know, I felt like if I didn't look at it, it was going to bring us good luck, but 
It didn't. Okay, anyways, going back over the wonderful hits that we've had all day. Let's count how many reverse rares I've got. So, one. We'll put that to the side. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six reverse rares. Two holographics. A single V, which is pretty cool. That's probably my favorite card of the bunch. And then a Tapu Koko V Max. Max Shock sounds like a really cool move. If you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, their active Pokemon is now paralyzed. I, yeah, whatever. All right, guys, so there's the video. It did not turn out at all what I was hoping for, but that's how it goes sometimes. I'll take my bad luck because sometimes that means I've got good luck. I hope. Anyways, we're going to be doing some celebrations in the next video on Friday, so hopefully we saved all of our good luck for that video. Fingers crossed. I don't have anything else for you, so if you enjoyed the video and you haven't left a like yet, please do so. I definitely appreciate it, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. I post Pokemon videos every single day. We do playthroughs. We do some weird random videos on Monday, and then of course we do these card opening videos. Every single day, they're all uploaded and live at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. If you don't want to remember that, no worries. YouTube has a notify bell. You click that bad boy, and YouTube will tell you when my videos go live. It's very convenient. It's very convenient. With all that being said, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.